Hi, welcome to High Five Live. I'm Carrie Ann Hoops, and I have the pleasure of interviewing and being here with my new friend, Chantel Squires, who is an Emmy Award winning director. Uh, she just directed a movie called Jane and Emma. Here's the poster. You guys might have seen this all over social media. And I was just telling her, it's so fun that I get to be here tonight with her because I haven't had the opportunity to see the movie yet which I'm really sad about because it hasn't come to Arizona yet. It's coming to Arizona November 9th. And so I cannot wait. Um, but I want to remind you tonight, this weekend is the very last weekend in Utah that it's in theaters and it's in about 20 theaters. So get online and find a movie, uh, a movie theater closest to you. Um, so I'm going to turn some time over to Chantel to tell us a little bit about herself. But first, tell us where you're tuning in from. We love to see where our viewers are, view, are, are watching from. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, so I started making films uh, maybe 15, 14 years ago. Wow. Um, and I started in the documentary world. I made a documentary where I followed four Marines um, for four and a half years to see their readjustment home from war. And it was on PBS and it, that really started my career. Um, I had a company for 10 years and we did non-scripted documentary, television, episodic things for BYU TV. We worked on the Generations Project that some people probably are familiar with. Yeah. Um, and that's really, um, the kind of projects that I worked on then throughout my career have always been giving a voice to the voiceless and, you know, just, yeah. you know, my whole background of documentary, it's always too about healing. You know, there's just I, I giving a voice to the voiceless, there tends to be healing from that. And so those are just kind of the projects that I've always been drawn to. Um, I actually took a three year break. Uh, I had two children and I was having my second baby and I was a little overwhelmed with everything. So I, I took a break, the company um, dissolved and for about three years, I was able to stay at home with my kids and deal with life and life happens. And I ended up getting divorced in that time, um, which fortunately I was able to have a career to jump back into. And I had a conversation with uh, my old business partner and he, um, he and I were talking about making a film and he's like, it's time for a film to be made by women about women. And I was like, yes. Go women. <laughs> I love that. Cause we were talking about that when she was talking about her documentary. Um, you said you were 19. I was 19 when, when started. she started that. And I thought, Oh, my daughter's like almost 18. I can't imagine in a year letting her go off <laughs> and follow. You don't have any control over that. <laughs> I know. I don't like that. <laughs> but talk about a strong woman right here. I, it's amazing. You, in a short span of your life, you've experienced a lot, but you're telling a story for others. And yeah. that is the neatest thing. I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like things happen to you in your life for a reason. And most of the time, I actually believe that those reasons aren't just for you or somebody else. And so if you don't, if you have the ability to share a story, which I do, I mean, that's, I've been working and mastering that skill for, you know, for a long time. And so it's like, okay, I have been given a lot of trials and a lot of things that have, like, if you were, would have asked me, are you going to make a about Jane and Emma? maybe seven or eight years ago. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just like, how could I ever touch that? Yeah. But when we started talking about it, I was like, I want to so bad because I just, I related so much to, you know, immediately Emma, because I, I knew more about Emma. I didn't know as much about Jane mm -hmm. until we started getting into her life and doing research and talking about her experiences that I was also able to find a lot of, um, strength from her. But yeah, I just think that, you know, like we have opportunity, we have experiences in our life for a reason. And if yeah. we don't do something with those experiences, then they can be wasted. Well, and you recognizing it as a gift, recognizing that you have to share that story. And it sounds like these are deep projects. These aren't 
you're not yeah. choosing projects just because yeah. you're no. choosing them because they mean something. They do. They always mean something. And I know that I get really passionate about things and I know that about myself, which is why when I do start a project, it's a really big deal yeah. because I just, I know how much it will take out of my life and out of my heart and soul. And I also know that I just believe this with when you're creating. It's when you step into a journey, mm -hmm. you have to be willing to go on that ride. And yeah. Through well, that process, it life is also is a ride. another experience. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, life, like we were talking a little bit before, you know, life is like that. I mean, we, we can't control things. And it, it's amazing. Um, what inspired you? to make this movie. I mean, yes, you were going through life, but was there anything that stood out like raising your hand? Yes, 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 please, please. Pick me, yeah. pick me. When, when we started to, to talk about doing this film about Jane and Emma, and it was, we had a great team of people that, you know, we were able to, there was um, six women, I think, at the end of the day that were teaming, teaming oh. us up. And, and so that was really great because it's about women and, um, you know, writer, producers, everyone that was involved were very invested in. And um, so, and we have two of the women were, I don't know if you're familiar, Sister and Ryan. Yeah. And so they, Temu and Zandra, um, Temu Smith and Zandra Rains are, have, you know, had a lot of love for Jane for a long time. And, and so they brought that, love to the table and then um my writer melissa leilani larson she she has brought this experience of being able to tackle difficult topics in a way that's just i mean it's beautiful and as you'll see in the film it's just how do you tackle those topics well she knows she knows and i've seen it in her other work that she's done and so having having that approach to something such as, you know, racial injustice. I mean, mm -hmm. that's a really big topic. And also we deal with, we address polygamy in the film and things that people are like, wait, really, you're going to do that? I'm like, why wouldn't I do that? It's part of the story. It's part of the story for, for Emma. That is, that is part of her life. Mm -hmm. And it was obvious that it was a struggle for her. And I just think that sometimes we are afraid to talk about things that are hard. And um, I think that that's a real detriment to our progress and our growth in life. And I've noticed that as I've been willing to talk about the hard things in my life, that it like draws people to me because it's like, oh, I, there's I, a connection. Yeah. Like, you can connect. To I'm them. not alone. Yeah. And, and I think everybody feels like they're not alone. You don't feel it and they don't feel it because you're connecting on this hard thing that you're experiencing. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I think that, that's what made me so excited about telling this story because it was like an opportunity to just be real and yeah. to, to actually put truths on the table, truths that maybe we've been afraid to talk about. But if we don't talk about it, then we can't condemn people. Well, and I, you know, I think about it. There's a movie poster for the one, the movie that you had done before, Reserve to Fight, and it's the same. There's this inner struggle. And so... I love that you're telling these stories and you're telling about Jane and Emma and so many people have had the opportunity to see the movie already. I'm excited. And I, I actually tried to go see the movie last night, but um, I got in late and I'm just here for a couple days. And so I was really bummed that I didn't get to be inspired by the movie before we got to have a conversation. But um, at what experiences from the movie have you learned maybe moving forward in your own life or things that stood out that you could quote unquote say this was a spiritual this was a spiritual thought a spiritual you know thing that came to me that made me understand why i'm making this movie yeah there were definitely a lot of things that happened um just in in terms you know i mentioned like when you start an, ex an adventure i guess you're going to change and you're going to grow. And I feel like, I actually feel like, like as you watch this film, you see Jane and his voices are there and they're not afraid to use their voice. And I feel like that actually happened for me. It was a really important time for me in my life because I do believe that 
I actually feel like more women need to be out there sharing stories and telling stories and using their voices. I think sometimes we feel like it's hard for us to have a voice. And it's like, well, then just let's use it no matter what, you know, no matter what's standing in the way. And it's a strong, powerful, powerful force. That's not easy to say. <laughs> powerful force. And when you use it for the good, the blessings come. Yeah. And when we use our time and talents, which your team of people have obviously done, it's so cool to see in the world when, when we all work together as a unity, as a community, how those forces become stronger. Yeah. You know, that it, the, it's the, I think that theory of community over competition and, and loving each other and loving the story and loving hard things that you can bond with that. And you can move forward and and become stronger yeah. because of that. And I definitely think, I mean, one of the issues that we deal with, obviously, for Jane, um, in 1844, it was a struggle for her to be uh, accepted in the church. And I just think that that, like, I've, I've learned through this process that that's not very different today. So that has been um, something that's been really important for me and very motivating because I just, I, I had, I had an experience where I was kind of wanting to be done because <laughs> it's, you know, I don't choose the easy, happy projects. It's like, this is intense and it's really taking a lot for me. And I, I was just like, can I be done? Is this, is this over? How, you know, and it was just, life was a little bit hard and I just really felt the reason why I was making the film is because, um, you know, I believe that the atonement doesn't have its full effect until people who have been hurt have had healing. And so I just could see that if I wanted to live in a world that is more capable of having God's love abound where we are one and we are a Zion people, but there needed to be more healing. And that, you know, I can't, I'm not gonna save the world with one film, but if some difficult things can be addressed that have never been addressed and healing can happen for people who have been hurting and are hurting, then to me, it's worth it. And I, I was able to like keep moving forward and just keep on to find that strength. Yeah, to find the strength and the endurance and, and I was sustained. I mean, I I don't know, sometimes I'm like, I don't know how I did it. That single mom, um, you know, I work to pay the bills and I'm making this film. It's a lot of work, but it just, it needed to happen. It was supposed to happen. And I needed to know and I needed to know why so that I could have the motivation to really make it. And so I just, I really hope, and I, I think that that's what's, I don't know what's starting to happen, but I know that people are resonating with it and resonating with the truth. And they're having a woman like Jane as their pillar of strength. And to me, I'm just, that's meant the world because she is, I've leaned on her in my life. I know she's there. I know she is. And I know she cares about me. I know she cares about everyone who's worked on the project. And I know that Emma does too. And like it's time. What a hard thing just in general, you know, like um, to tell somebody's story, especially when you have to take, like you said, the research and you need to be the voice and there's not somebody right there going, no, that wasn't quite right. Like this wasn't, mm, and you just have to go off inspiration as to what the spirit must have been so strong as you were telling some of those stories. I mean, it, I can't imagine the pressure on you. Mm -hmm. That was probably, you were feeling, I would imagine pretty crazy strong as the adversaries working on you to not create those bridges. We live in a world where we're trying to create bridges where people can love one another, but there is a lot of, like you said, judgment and racism and just not, comfortable love towards other different people yeah different you know of any difference, of yeah. any difference. and mm -hmm. that that's what we ultimately as as christians want to do is build those bridges and love one another it's amazing you are an inspiration i, I can tell you as we've sat here the spirit 
of the movie is um, it's evident that those women are grateful for what you have shared and, and the talents that you have given. Do you have any last thoughts about the movie or anything? I mean, I'm, I'm grateful too, you know, cause like you were saying how there wasn't someone sitting over your shoulder saying, no, that's not right. Sometimes actually there was, because there was. you know, we'd be moving and then it was just like these roadblocks and it was so hard and frustrating, but then it would be like, okay, why? Why? And it's like, because it's not ready. Okay. It's not ready. And so we push it off, you know, and, and just along the way, I mean, there were lots of little miracles. I believe that creation, when you're creating something, it's a very sacred process. I, I really have a lot of respect for the process and I know that it wasn't happening on on our own when we weren't doing it on, on your our own, own time we hear that own. on the lord's timing things <laughs> happen <laughs> and it's that is it's amazing how you know it you recognize that that i've never heard that said that you respect the the process of creation that time and i think it ties into everything that we do that sometimes we a lot of times we don't know <laughs> why yeah. or when and it's like, okay, I said my prayer, why is it not happening? And, and here you are creating this, this story that just resonates. Yeah. I'm so excited that it's, it, it has, I, anybody that's been on social media for the last, what, two weeks, it is, it's, it's been out for two weeks, isn't it? Or yeah, is it three two now? Weekend. This is the third weekend. The third weekend. And, yeah. And it is everywhere. So run to the theaters if you're in Utah. Yeah. Because, and that's the other thing, like, you know, you put so much of your time and you invest so much passion and energy, and so many people have been doing so much for this movie. That's the other thing. Where people are just, it, it's a movement that every single person that has jumped onto this project from my executive producers to my producers to the distribution team, everyone that's like been a part of it has just put everything on the line everything everyone has done it and it's like why <laughs> why did jane put everything on the line you know i mean i think that we're all like following her lead because she did she put everything it's like why well it's because we she just, trusted we, she trusted and i think that that's where we we feel so passionate about and and it's we also want everyone to be able to see it and so you know it's important right now it's in the theaters and it's hard to get people to go to the theaters actually to see the film. And so hopefully um, since it's in theaters in Utah this weekend at, for the last, the last week. Um, and so. And then it'll be in it. Arizona. So yeah, the, in Arizona. So November, November, 9th. Yeah, November 9th. And it, how, do you know how long it'll be in theaters in Arizona? Uh, however long the Arizonians. <laughs> right. Keep Arizonians. Come on, make me proud. Cause you've got to go step up. If you go to the theater, and the theater keeps the film in its theater. And it just keeps. That's just the way it works. And if All right. people aren't going, then it just it So if you know eyes. me, I have given you a challenge. <laughs> Go and see. And you'll be down there for the I will. You'll be down there for one of the premieres, uh -huh. right? On the ninth. On the ninth. Yes, okay. on the ninth. And then I'll be there be doing a fireside on the Sunday. So yeah. fun. So yeah, it'd be fun to see. Well, you are delightful. <laughs> what an amazing, amazing um, spirit that this movie has created. And as I've, I have quite a few friends, Gaina Lynn from High Five Live. I know she went to the premiere with my friend John Dye as well and rave reviews, just incredible. And you will get mine as soon as, if I can't make it here in Utah tonight or tomorrow, I'm going in Arizona. There's time, we can just go down. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Thank and you. thanks for tuning in. So tell us where they can find information yeah, so about the movie. The website is janeandemmamovie.com. And when you go to the website on the corner, there's a little film strip and it shows where the where, where it's showing. It's showing. Okay. It'll show what theaters it's in right now. and. So, so all of you go like drop, make that site crash. Everybody go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That'd be awesome. Thanks so much. Have a great weekend. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you.